Welcome to the family of Saint Anne. Dear friends, let us begin a journey towards the discovery of God's call. You are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you. With these words, God calls you to life and love. He is delighted in you because you are precious in his sight. He loves you so immensely and unconditionally. The sacrament of baptism is the call to follow Christ, the God-made man who became one like us and one with us. He is Emmanuel. He calls us to become like him. Dear friends, do you desire to become like him? Then listen to his voice. Every vocation is from God and it is a precious gift given to each human being. Calling you by name, God invites you to enter into a relationship, a relationship with God. All vocations are holy because the one who calls you is holy. It is therefore very important to discern correctly and follow faithfully the life to which God calls you. There are people who are called to married life like your parents and mine. One such couple is Carlo Tancredi and Giulia of Barolo, one among the richest families of Turin in Northern Italy. Faithful to their Christian vocation, they lived their marital life. They lived their life guided by God's word. Though they were blessed with everything in life, they were not blessed with children of their own. By reading and sharing the word of God, Carlo Tangredi and Giulia of Barolo found answer to their suffering. These words of Jesus, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these, inspired them to accept their sterility as plan of God. Their hearts moved towards the less fortunate of the society. They believed that charity should be done at once and always, and they knew that God created man and woman to be happy. Convinced of this, they set out to help those in need, especially the prisoners, to turn away from their evil ways. Carlo Tangredi, being the mayor of Turin, knew the dangerous situations in which children and youth of his time lived. He, with the full accord of his wife, opened his palace to them who were abandoned by their parents. Because Carlo Tancredi believed that good education, both of body and of spirit, is fundamental for the child to grow up physically healthy and spiritually upright. Thus, for the education of the little ones and the poor, they founded the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Anne in 1834, placing it under the protection of St. Anne, who is a woman of faith, a guardian of hope, and a mother full of love. Do you know who is St. Anne? She is the mother of Mary and grandmother of Jesus. The sisters look up to St. Anne and entrust their mission of accompanying children and youth in their growth towards complete happiness. Mother Enriqueta was the second superior general of the congregation and as faithful and reliable testimony of the charism of the founders, she opened the institute to the horizons of the mission Abjandas sending the first six missionaries from Italy to India in 1871. Today, the congregation is present in different parts of the world, namely Africa, America, Asia, and Europe. Wherever they are and whatever they do, the sisters live their vocation. Do you know what is the vocation of the Sisters of St. Anne? It is nothing else than to look upon the Holy Trinity in order to be instruments of God's providence to the little ones and the poor. Now, when a girl enters in the family of Saint Anne, 
she undergoes a period of formation or training during which she is helped to discern the call of God through prayer, reception of sacraments, studies, personal guidance, community living and through the events of day-to-day -day life. At the end of her initial formation, understanding the words of Christ, you did not choose me but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, the youngster willingly and joyfully offers her life to God with the words of Samuel, Here I am Lord, you called me. Thus, with hearts filled with joy of belonging to God, sisters of St. Anne are sent out to be instruments of God's providence, witnesses of God's mercy, and signs of God's love. Today, after 188 years of its foundation, the congregation of Sisters of St. Anne are present in 11 countries. The presence of St. Anne family in India completed 150 years and today the congregation is spread far and wide in five provinces of India. The southern province comprises two states namely Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Wherever they are placed, the sisters carry out the mission of Christ being a family for families, journeying with the church, bringing hope and joy to the world today. Thank you. 